here we go we're draining the hydraulic oil out of the digger today because we're going to change all the filters and replace the oil because this is required at the thousand hour service now I was quite surprised how black the first little glob of oil was that came out I assume it's oil it could it could have been water so that was a speeded up video so it was soon out of there and it says you should get 22 liters out there was a bit more than 20 but I wouldn't have said there was much more than 21 so I don't know where it was hiding perhaps it was perhaps the level was a bit low so the next thing is to take this panel off clean out this filter this is the one that filters the oil going to the control levers the so-called pilot filter and it went half tight you get a bigger spanner on it it's rubber mounted there it is the container for the filter this is the old one and the new one this is the new one looks fairly similar as far as we can tell it comes with a replacement o-ring for the filter chamber cleaned out the filter chamber off with the old and then Rob deftly puts the new one on so quickly I couldn't hardly get a video of the time lapse of him doing it tighten up the filter housing so that's all good and put the panels back on so we got the hydraulic oil out the um, pilot filter off now we're going to clean up around the top of the hydraulic tank because that's where you access the other two filters so the other uh, well there is a filter technically in the lid as well it's a sort of um, ven um, ventilation filter so the first one to come out is this one this is the return filter that's the most expensive filter it's heavier than the others I think I paid 85 pounds plus VAT for it you can pay more um, there's a video of cutting that open as well if you're interested so we're putting my phone down in the tank you can see there's a little blob of blackness that looks as if it might be water I don't know I'd like to be able to suck it out but I've got nothing to suck it out with that one in the middle brassy looking is where the return filter goes on it just pushes on and the, the other one the filter that's still in there that's the suction filter we'll be unscrewing that now I've just got my arm in there, unscrewing it, and out it comes. So there's the old one and the new one. The new one seems to be shorter, but it's slightly larger diameter. So hopefully it's an equivalent. It's hard to get your arm in there with it the right way round. Well, you have to sort of change it as you do. Anyway, I did it and put the other one back on. Thought we'd tip that in, decided that was a bad idea, so we decanted it into smaller containers so I first emptied the oil out of that one and then decanted a bit kept on tipping it in until there was some little enough in the big container to be able to tip that up that should bring the oil up to that spot in the middle then we started it up and to see what had happened first of all a bit of air came through those bubbles and um then it sort of settled down. It's, I was surprised that it pumped the oil round even when it was ticking over um, with none of the implements um, being moved or anything. I just uh, observed that for a bit and then I started moving things backwards and forwards to see what would happen. And uh, you can see the levels about up to where the writing is on the shiny bit of that filter. But it's I think it's, you can perceive it's going down now. That's because of the position I've moved the uh, the arm and boom into. Definitely going up and down a bit. It's a bit of a jerky old thing. So if you're getting travel sick, look away now. Um, and the bubbles have cleared. So that's like the lowest position we could get it to go and then that was the highest position we could get it to go uh, that filter has a pressure relief valve in the top of it so 
screw the top back on, clean up, job done.